it would have been great to have this rain a few years back. I've certainly lived through that drought as a sheep and cattle farmer down near Tamworth. I've come up here to Tenterfield today to talk about how important it is to tell your story, the power of storytelling, how important it is to reach out for some help. This workshop that I've just done like probably opened my eyes up a little bit. It was a little bit raw, but I've come out of it today going, wow, like there's so many things I didn't think about or you did think at the time, or it's made me a, a better person, I think, of what I've gone through. Seven months of fires virtually in our, in our LGA. Like the biggest thing now is, is we're going into these communities the regrowth and that connection that they need in their communities is its vital more than anything now. Prior to the bushfires there was droughts and then there was flooding also and of course with COVID-19 so it's been disaster after disaster. It's quite easy for bushfires to be put on the back burner with all that's been going on but the effect that it had on the communities back then and even now is real. There are these great community resilience and recovery building workshops to upskill service providers but also to upskill uh, community leaders so that the communities can rebuild and become stronger. Rosie knows. Now that mental health is on the table, let's really look at it honestly and upfront. <laughs>